Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, gonna do some more paladin around. My deck is probably super unreliable. Sure felt unreliable at the end of that last game when I kinda had to top deck, and I was top deck using the, f the cheese of fortune. I don't even remember what it's called. Three mana, draw a billion cards for no reason. Paladin card. But yeah, I've got a lot of fast stuff in here. I don't think I have enough tools to reliably keep me alive to start dropping fat things. And I don't think my middle stuff is really, like, so hyper-strong as to keep me in the game. So, yeah, I'd be concerned. The light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. Priest. In Constructed, you'd be like, oh, a priest will probably be slow, but... First off, that's not all, that's not true that often, and secondly, this is arena, and I expect more battle priests in the arena, but less control, more like play a whole bunch of good minions and then heal them so they last longer, which is pretty annoying. But the noble sacrifice first turn is a lot less dumb against the priest than it was against the druid. It actually worked out okay against the druid, but I don't know. In the light. Name. There's something that would be good to kill with Noble Sacrifice. It does not need to be alive. Well, let's make an Imani Berserker and see what happens. If the Priest has some way to get around the Noble Sacrifice, I will be impressed. So you could coin and have three mana. I guess if she had something with charge that she could cast for two or three mana, that would do the trick. But then he wouldn't be healing this, so it still wouldn't be that rough. Okay. Yeah, you do that. That's not the end of the world. I'm sure it's not good for me, but it seems like something else could be worse. Get down! Well, there's only so much I can do. can't Shadow Madness because you used your coin. So I was tempted to just make this instead because it can't, if Shadow Madness, the 1-1 one, one can't kill this guy, it would take them both. Mm. But no, we're going to try and drop the Swamp Boos anyway. Okay, Priest's not going to have any weapons. Yes. Look at this fat-ass slow hand. Chances of me living that long to use all that stuff, not good. Not good at all. I wonder... What are you going to do? If you, you're, think, you're sitting there with a Shadow Madness, even though it's epic. You're sitting there with a Shadow Madness thinking, Ah, oh, I just had one more mana, I could kill them both. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. At least I get to kill you. Yeah, this works out okay. Play Captain Overpriced here. And now the priest can shadow madness and kill all my stuff and feel really good about himself. That would be pretty obnoxious. To have an epic card that is so strong and to have gotten it this early in the game. In the arena. This would be like, really? But no, it's fine. Uh, that's pretty good. No I'm not going to make much progress against that guy, though. Holy Nova could be next up. I'm going to do this anyway, because... What else am I going to do? But, I think I am going to trade this to knock him down to size. He can't be healed up as far. Only Nova would be killing these two guys, but I would still have a 2-2 two -two left, which is not the end of the world against two one ones. It's not like he can do anything else 
in the same turn as Holy Nova yet. Might not have any Holy Novas, but it is a common priest card, so he could have five of them, which would be pretty damn annoying. I do not want to run into the Arena Priest that has five Holy Novas. Now, Holy Nova is a more powerful card than Consecrate. I don't know if that's actually worse than running into a Paladin with, four, with five Consecrates, though. The Holy Nova is not really twice as powerful as Consecrate, because, of course, the damage is way more powerful than the healing, unless you have a healing-based combo. The fact that it costs four instead of five, you wouldn't think it'd be that much, but it really makes a difference in how early you can do it and something else, and how early you can do two of them, and stuff like that. Like, the Holy Nova, at five mana, it's much harder to cast something else sizable or two things in your turn. Well, that's going to be good to have in my back pocket, but we're going to get. I get, have to trade both my guys just to kill him. Well, I've got a Boulder Fist Ogre. I guess I can do it. Very well. It was two minions, but it was only one card with the minions. Priest has already used one Shadow Word Death, has he? Yeah. So, I have a lot of things to Shadow Word Death. He's not doing it this turn. Interesting. Do you need a blessing? Aw, oh, really? Really? Super annoying. Again. Super, super annoying. Uh I can't just, like, ignore it, either. Because hmm. I can make this guy a 7-8, which is just not quite enough. If he had one less thing to buff it with, it would have been fine. Let me think. I think maybe I should build up stuff instead. Mishmash. Probably, probably a stupid move, but I just feel like I'm not getting enough value out of him. And I do have a taunt. So this is a fair army. Can even survive a Holy Nova for the most part. If any significant chunk of this were to survive somehow, and then I could storm one champion next turn, that would be pretty decent. Hmm. I don't know what he's gonna do about it. I just have great faith that I'll be screwed somehow. Wait, why would you give it to that and not this guy? Oh, okay. Because then you can kill this, and then you can do what you need to do. Gotcha. There had to be a reason, because priests are annoying. It is going to go that way. Interesting. Ah, not doing your job there. Oh, let's see. There's really not much else I can do. Behold! Kill that. Kill that. I think I'll just attack. I don't think doing two damage to that guy has any value because he can just be healed. Now we get to find out if I'm dead, because a divine spirit would go most of the way to dead. Like, dead enough that I would never recover. Oh, now if he has divine spirit, I am dead. Hooray! Well, that was kind of BS. Just in that either he got a ridiculous amount of the cards that work together with that guy, or he just happened to draw, like, all of them at the right time. Pretty obnoxious.
That's right. I'm recording you and typing random stuff in a stream that I'm not supposed to be paying attention to. But someone badmouthed the second Matrix movie, which is surprisingly common. And there's a lot of stuff that wasn't great in the second Matrix movie. But I still find it's not... Like, people are not criticizing the right stuff about it for the most part. Except the rave. Everyone knows the rave was bad. It was a very good action movie. It wasn't what people wanted after The Matrix, but that's because th nobody could meet those people's expectations after The Matrix. But Reloaded was very good in most ways. There, there was some, there was definitely some dumb stuff, but most ways it was good. The architect scene was amazing if you paid attention to the things he was saying. But the problem is, the people who made it didn't. They just ignored all the intelligent subtext of what he was saying and just went ahead with the third movie and made no sense. And they made them both at the same time, so it seems incredibly asinine. Guess this mage... Do I want to coin out a 3-2? Seems kind of poor. Now, I will, we'll play the Argent Squire. Because it can take a licking. And then we'll coin out the Demolisher, because it's also fairly tough. But I also have the opportunity to react to whatever she does. I mean, I could just play the Brewmaster and bounce her. Kind of done her job, I guess. In fact, let's do that. Let's save the coin. I have so many fat things in here. Let's save the coin for something actually fat. Not a great use of the Brewmaster bounce, but eh, I get her bubble back. Whatever. Yep. What are you up to? Thinking really hard about whether to frostbolt him? Because, like, go ahead and frostbolt him. Especially if it takes your entire turn. If it takes your entire turn to frostbolt him, that should be your mission in life. Just do it. You know you want to. How can you see a panda and not shoot ice at his face? Oh, you're going to try and arcane missile him? With the old end turn gambit. Oh, I see through your ploys. <laughs> That's fine. Challenge accepted. Challenge indeed accepted. Now I could coin out one of my one cost things. I don't think it's a charge that she's planning to use. I think she just wanted to shoot him. So I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna bother trying to like scrambling and spending extra resources to put out the noble sacrifice for that. Save it for later when it's more likely to help. Yeah, okay, so she shoots him, and then what? Frostbolt this thing, it won't stop it. Oh, that's pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying. Now I wish I had a panda to bounce this so we could try it again. It says, that's not going to happen. It is time for a little blood. The light protects me. I probably should have just coined out the tiger, actually. Would have been no target for Corn of Cold. But I started doing stuff, because this thing's like this seemed like good stuff to do. Corn of Cold would be fairly devastating right now though. Hmm. Let the pain speak to me. Okay. He does have to go. I certainly don't have any way of dealing three damage to him out right now. So she's gonna draw two cards from him dying, but maybe we'll do some other stuff. Really? Shooting that instead of the bubble? Interesting. Oh, hey! That works out okay for stopping him. I can do that and then just... No, I can't just ignore him because... Ah, oh, the, the thingy. The noble sacrifice. Yeah, I'm, I'm better off just ignoring him and doing stuff. I fight. He's going to waste my noble sacrifice, draw a card, and then she can shoot him before or after, whatever she wants. But if I do one damage to him first... Then she can shoot him, draw a second card, 
and then attack the Noble Sacrifice and draw a third card. So softening him up is actually a bad idea. Unless she has some kind of healing, and I'm not a goddamn psychic. I don't know that she has, like, a cheap healing minion in her hand. There are only so many that do that. Okay, not a good sign. Arcane missiles? Uh, it could be worse. Alright, it only hit him once. That's what we like to see. Because you can shoot him another time, but that won't finish him. If it had hit him twice, it would have blown. She's gonna kill him with that. It shot him and then traded him for it. Whatever. So I don't think so far this turn has been all she's wanted it to be. What to do? What to do? If it's a do? cone of cold, then that would be an easy solution. Ah. Gotcha. Get down! Get up, get up, and get down. I'm sure that was some kind of hip hop song in like the nineties. Yeah. Hey, I'm not a music man. What am I going to do about these guys? Consecrate would kill him, which is not worthless, but also not that impressive. It would bring him down into range that this guy could trade for him. Or I could kill him with the Stranglethorn, and this guy would still be alive. Hey, that's pretty cool, because it only takes one damage from him. Although, it would then be in flame strike range. Ah... Ooh, what am I thinking? I can mm. praise Alchemist to this guy, swap his power and toughness, and then Consecrate. And then I just trade like a 1-1 one, one for this thing, and oh, I'm in business. Okay. You love my new recipe. Now, do I need to Consecrate or can I save it? I think I need to do it anyway. I want to get that stuff out of the way. I'm kind of expecting a flame strike now. I'll be pleasantly surprised if it's not, but I'm I'd rather lose this 1-1 one, one than the bubble at the moment. Because with the bubble, she'll survive the flame strike. And all of that allowed me to not take one damage on my tiger, so it can still survive a flame strike. And my opponent is at nine. So Flame Strike's not gonna do it for her, or if it does. It's going to be quite a process digging her way back out. What have you got? Flame Strike is not the answer. You need something better than Flame Strike, which is a pretty tall order for seven mana exactly. No, Flame Strike. Okay. Have anything else? Because you are nearly dead. I mean, she still has a chance. I can't kill her right now. Like I, I'll I'll get on it, but not right this moment. If I play him, he's bigger, but he's wasting my life gain. I think I'm better off playing all the junk. So he is doubly protected from charge. Another flame strike would not kill this guy, and she still wouldn't have enough mana to fireball. So she'd need a flame strike and like an arcane missiles, and there'd be a chance of it failing anyway. He does lethal damage. He has more than four hit points. Now she could drop an ice block or even just a frost armor, and that would make a huge difference. Has one threat down. Shoot another one and hope I can't muster one damage. Okay. Fair enough, you're still in the game. No, I don't have you dead somehow. The battle! I fight. I think I'm still gonna save this. I mean I don't I just need any damage to get through, so I might as well just keep playing damage sources. Flames right now would be awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, crap. Unfortunately for you, I have the secret. And you know exactly what secret it is. But what are you going to do? Not attack? 
if you don't attack, you'll never get rid of it, and your Acidus is not accomplishing anything staying home. Uh, see, now I gain one more life from him. We are still going to do him first, though, because... Because then when I play this guy, he can give that bonus to multiple of them. So, uh, you got a lot of cards. You can scramble and stay in the game for a while. I don't have I don't have a lot of direct damage. I have like one hammer of wrath in here. That would just be no. no okay. Self smorderish, which is I'm sure not how you pronounce the German for suicide. All right, so I am two and one. Yes. Almost every arena run goes through a phase where it is two and one, and this is no exception. So we really have no idea how it's going to go next time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.